Hey guys, we are going to Disney. My mom had a last minute request for some shirts. So we have to make 14 shirts for everybody. Originally, we were gonna do black because I knew I had black in every size, but I wasn't sure because it's Florida, it's hot. So I realized we had gray available. So Michelle's gonna help me out by grabbing all the shirts so we can go and hopefully get all the correct sizes. It's hard because some people, I haven't seen them in person. I don't know what size they wear. And, you know, sizes are questionable when you're switching brands. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and grab all the gray shirts and then we will get started. We are going to be using the DTG today. So I'm excited about that. So if you're not familiar with DTG, it stands for direct to garment, meaning you're printing directly onto your garments. Um, for this, because this is a gray shirt and I am gonna be doing a complete full color design, I do need to pre-treat the shirt. And for the pre-treat machine, I have a silver Jet V2 pre-treat machine. Both the Epson F2100 <laughs> and the silver Jet pre-treat were purchased from Todd. If you want more information, it's always in the description. Um, so with this process, you always want to lint roll first, um, and you just pretty much tuck the shirt in on the sides, just so you don't get pre-treat all over the entire shirt. You want the pre-treat where the image is going to be placed. So at the top of the machine, there are knobs to direct how far you want the pre-treat to go. So because this is an adult shirt, I want it on the full front of the shirt. So I adjusted it and I just simply pushed that little spray button and it just sprays it. Um, you see it goes up then sprays down and then you just need to put it on the heat press machine I have the uh, Hotronics Fusion IQ. This one has a slide out drawer, which I love and you're just going to place it onto the heat press and you need to heat it I heat it for 85 seconds at 345 degrees. I do use a piece of parchment paper I buy my parchment paper from uline.com because you can get them in bulk and I just heat it till it dries. It needs to be completely dry um, before you pr uh, put any ink on it or print on it, you know, because then it'll just smear. It's not going to look right. So it needs to completely dry. And yes, that is smoke because obviously it is a wet shirt and it is drying. So I like to keep pre-treating as I'm going. That way I'm not just sitting there waiting and waiting. So the quicker I get things done, the quicker this order is going to be done. And again, this is 14 shirts. Okay, so now that the shirt with the pre-treat is done and it is dry, I peel off the parchment paper and you throw this in the trash. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and put it on the DTG printer. And again, this is the Epson F2100. Um, and the platinum I'm using is the medium platinum, which is, I believe, 14 by 16. I just thread it on and then I have to put the top of the platinum. Um, and then we just pretty much print on it. And like I said, I'm going to keep the whole process moving. So I'm going to keep pre-treating and drying shirts. I do know because for this design, it's full color. I'm doing a double pass of white. This will take about a minute and a half to two minutes to print each and every shirt. So the drying process of the pre-treat shirts is only 85 seconds. So I'm going to keep trying to dry as I'm going.
Now that the first one's done, I have to send a picture to my mother for approval before I make the rest of the 13 shirts. This thing is called the fold and bag. It's by Hoopmaster, same people as Mighty Hoop. <laughs> so you can get them at hoopmaster.com. I love it because it's super easy to fold them and then you can actually put them straight into the bag like a poly mailer if you had it, but I didn't need it for today because I will be taking these with me to Disney. So I'm now done with all the adult shirts. So now I have to adjust the pre-treat machine again for the smaller shirts. So these are for Riley and Roman. Um, and after these two shirts are done being pre-treated, I have nothing else to pre-treat. And with that comes being bored, <laughs> waiting for the shirts to print because it obviously is like there's less to do. So all the shirts are done. So now it's just print and heat, print and heat, well, print and cure, print and cure. Because you're curing the ink that is on the shirt because obviously when you print, the shirt is wet. So to dry the ink, it is again 385 degrees. I do 45 seconds on gray because gray shirts do have a 
likelihood to turn yellow if you heat them too long so 385 degrees for 45 seconds is what i do for my gray shirts so to make all 14 shirts took me about an hour and a half normally if i was selling these shirts which i'm not they're for us for disney i would sell them for about 24 dollars so times 14 that's like 336 dollars for these shirts just wanted to mention that because i know a lot of people would ask how much you would normally charge for something like this and what the profit would be like so just give you an idea of what i would sell them for and how much how long it took me to make them Michelle wanted to learn how to do this. She's never done the DTG before, so I'm just showing her pretty much, you know, to be careful when you're pre-treating, especially when you're putting the uh, the parchment paper on top, not pre-treating, you know, drying. You don't want to mess up the ink. So there was like a little bubble on the shirt, and I was like, oh no, like it was like a wrinkle, and I was like, uh, I can't heat it like this because it's gonna mess up. So uh, we figured it out, and now, like I said, we're just waiting, we're printing and curing, so it just takes a while. So Michelle and I are just talking and you'll just see when all the shirts are finished. I ended up making an extra quick Disney shirt for myself. It was so quick and easy to make because it was just black ink, took all of maybe 30 seconds. So made that for myself and here are all 14 Disney shirts. Colors are super vibrant. I love them, but I really love this shirt because it's like super awesome and it's tie-dye and just, it was so quick to make. So I got an extra little shirt for myself and shirts for everybody else i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and i will see you guys in the next one bye Dang.